Hey guys, Adam with Grey Ghost Tactical, and uh, today I am going to do a pocket dump. It, uh, it is June of 2020, and uh, it's actually an off day. So this is what I, I would typically carry, something similar to this. Uh, the items rotate out because uh, I'm a gear, gear guy, but um, the basic um, you know, I'll carry a pen, a flashlight, lighter, etc. Um, anyway, moving forward, uh, starting with my pen. This is a right in the rain pen. It's a, uh, kind of like a, uh, Fisher space pen and, uh, it's pressurized right upside down. And, um, the good thing about this is it is waterproof and instead of being made out of metal, it's actually made out of plastic and it opens up to a full-size pen writes real nice um, write on pretty much anything um, and a, you can get a pack of two of these for like it's like 10 bucks so like I said really nice uh, piece of gear there um, moving and moving forward um, usually have a have a flashlight this is the streamlight micro stream uh, USB rechargeable and um, it's in the brown color See, there has three modes on it uh, pocket clip uh, like this little light I was a fan of the micro streams original ones before they came out with the uh, higher output rechargeable ones um, and the other flashlight I would typically carry on a daily basis is the Streamlight Stylus Pro um, I have it in orange. So orange is one of my favorite colors. I got a simple uh, mini big here in black. Uh, that's I don't smoke, but you know, creating a fire is very important sometimes. Um, so I took that. Uh, as far as pocket knife goes, this is the. It's called Steel Warrior. I thought it, I actually thought it was Rough Rider, but this is the Doctor's Pocket Knife. Um, it's got brass bolsters, um, the fake mother of pearl inlay, and uh, so it's got a nice little three-inch pin blade there. It's razor sharp. Um, it says Steel Warrior on the blade and 440 stainless. Uh, my wife got this to me. I wanted a uh, doctor's blade, and uh, because I'm in the medical field, and I thought it would be pretty cool. And uh, so, like I said, three little inch little pin blade, slip joint, by the way. And then that's the uh, doctor's tool. Um, history behind this is they would actually use this as a pill counter, as a uh, tongue depressor, as a wound opener. Um, staple remover, uh, you name it, that little tool right there would, was it for the doctor. And they would usually carry a knife like this. Um, it is stainless, stainless steel. And uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it was, because I have fat fingers, I added a little bit of grip tape on the back just so that I can um, uh, grab it. It's, it's kind of slick if you're trying to open it you know, without opening the blade first. Um, what I use it for is a variety of things. If I need a little small pry bar, um, if I need to take and kind of like move something or dig with something, that's what I would use it for. It's a good little knife. Like I said, my wife bought it for me for my anniversary a couple years back. Um, I want to say these run anywhere from like 12 to like, say 70 bucks 80 bucks if you get a case version anyway moving forward so this is just a small credentials wallet and um it holds my id for search and rescue it holds my id for uh the police auxiliary and, uh, and the coast guard auxiliary among with my drone pilot's license and uh boater's registration and uh, pretty much anything that I would have to show somebody. Um, and then on the outside, it's got two pockets. Um, 
here. This is my wallet from uh, Dango. Uh, this is the, doesn't say, doesn't say what it is. It's a nice wallet. Uh, does really good. It's got everything covered up. No need for y'all to like try to steal my stuff, you know. Um, comes with the lanyard on it. Lanyard's getting a little rough, you can tell. When the wallet's holding up, it also comes with a multi-tool that slides in there. It's an aluminum type wallet. Uh, I think the actual multi-tool was junk. I said that and when I actually did a review of this wallet and I got a little bit of heat off of it by some of the subscribers uh, telling me the functionality of it. Well, for me, it's junk. If you find a use for it, that's good, but it just takes up space. Um, inside the wallet, I do have a few things. Um, that is a glow in the dark right here where my thumbs up. Well, I can pull it out. That is a glow in the dark. Uh, come out of a fishing kit, but that's a Phariseum rod. And again, like I said, for iron. Um, I kind of work in between uh, the city and, um, well, actually, I kind of work in a rural area now. So the, the ability to start fire, not saying I'm planning to spend a couple nights in the woods, but if I had to, you know, at least I can make a fire. I also carry a couple dollars cash, not much, because I'm married and I got two kids and they seem to steal all of that for me. Um, but I also carry a guitar pick. I do like to play a little bit. Um, not very good. Uh, but uh, for those of you that don't know, you can actually take the shavings off of a guitar pick and... Uh, strike it and it strikes very well it's a very uh very good uh fire starter uh moving on i'm not gonna spend much time on this because this isn't a firearms channel but usually i have some type of firearm on me uh this is the ruger lcp original and uh as you can tell you know i actually tote this gun the only thing i've really done i, I painted the sight which i probably need to do again as you can tell, there is some wear on it. Um, I put grip tape on the front of it to make it easier to cock. I put a Ranger band, a bicycle inner tube, uh, to kind of absorb some of the shock and to uh, uh, kind of give me a little bit better grip on it. Uh, like I said, this is toted. It's front pocket. Uh, this was a... I believe it was a black hawk. I could be wrong on the brand. But anyway, it's one of the pocket pocket holsters and it had a little little tail right here that would snag your pocket when you pull your revolver out and leave the holster in the pocket. I didn't like it. So I cut it off. I boogered it up a little bit, but it's still functional. Holds my pistol nice. Uh, the, makes a nice form package. Smaller than most people's wallet. Moving on, I've got the night eyes uh, extra large uh, foam pouch I'll bring it down a little bit there you go um, it, fit, it holds my Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, plus, note plus and uh, that's what I'm filming with um, foam, if you really want to know it's called Rhino Armor it's orange and it's grey my favorite color is orange so that's why I have that um but back to the phone case nothing special it's got a belt clip on it i usually kick tote it on my front pocket um it helps hide the imprint of the gun a little bit and it takes in uh, uh it's kind of a quick draw from my phone there so inside the wallet it's got a velcro uh well an elastic in the back there and i use it to stash a card and some cash um card to my Venmo card and uh, I use it for pretty much like my my fun money uh, well this is a, a review of my EDC um, everyday carry pocket dump whatever um, so like here you know I always have a lighter on me there we go and uh, the lighter may change the knife may change uh, the wallet stays pretty much the same pistol may change the flashlight can change in or out the pin usually stays because it's lightweight and, uh, and it fits right in my pocket uh the phone will change 
some oh and if anybody is really interested in it I have a eight dollar uh, Walmart watch um, works out great and uh, it's got a rubber band it's water resistant stopwatch in the glow uh, date time this was given to me by a patient uh, like I said I'm in physical therapy and um, the patient uh, got him back to sports and uh, so he did chores around his uh, house and uh, he saved up and he bought me a watch and uh, so uh, he knew I like camouflage stuff and, uh, and that's the reason I wear it well that and it's a it's actually a really durable watch um, I can go swimming with this thing I can take a shower with this thing and I don't have to worry about it uh, but you know it's not the most expensive but it, it was a thought he took enough time to uh, you know uh, work around his house and do stuff and uh, so that means a lot I added on a uh, Sunuto uh, clip compass nope I'm sorry this isn't the Sunuto this is the one uh, I got from the uh, SHTF um, I do have another watch that I switch out sometimes it's a uh, it's a Galaxy uh, S3, I believe it is, and uh, that's the watch that has the uh, Sunuto compass on it. But for the most part, that works, and I'm not going to be doing any navigation with it. It's just basically a general direction finder. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, this is Adam with Great Ghost signing out.